I'm a third year SPS student and this is the third hour of our SPS series for this academic year. I'm joined by Professor Ian Burkett from the University of Bradford. Hi Ian. Hi yeah. And would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself please? Yeah, um, I went back to university as a mature student in the late 1970s and um, when I got to university, although I had not done well at school, I got to university and I found that in a, in a Max Weber sense, I'd found my vocation. I found that I was an academic. So I went on to do my PhD at the University of Leeds. And I did a PhD on the social factors involved in self and identity. And that became the basis of my first book, Social Selves. Uh, and since then I've gone on to research and write and teach. Uh, on the topic of social identity. Uh, in the late 1990s I wrote a book on embodiment, so the role of the body in society and the creation of identity. And just recently I've written a book on social relationships and emotions. Okay, well that all sounds very interesting. Um, will you tell us a bit about what you'll be talking to us about later on this evening? I'm going to be talking to you about the main, main themes of the book around social relations and emotions. So I'm going to be talking about the relational theory of emotion, what that means, what that looks like. And I'll be giving you some examples of that. I'll be talking about the theoretical background to that. So my aesthetic theory of emotion that I've been developing. And also the idea that emotions are complex phenomena they can't just be reduced to the physical or the biological, but they're, they're made up of, of different elements of, of, of those. But social relationships are the key factor. Yeah. Um, and also, why is it that you think this research is of relevance to, for example, young people today? Well, I mean, I think identity is, is hugely relevant for, for people. I mean, there was a programme on TV last night uh, by Grayson Perry, the uh, artist, where he was interviewing people about their identity and looking at factors like gender, class, all these things that figure in, in, in how people create their identities. Um, I was writing about that, of course, 25 years ago. And I hope this work gives people theoretical tools to understand what identity is about, and also to put that in a social context. You know, where do these ideas come from? You know, that they're culturally dependent. So to help people understand the their relationship between their identity and culture. I think also the latest work on emotion is important because emotion is becoming increasingly important, particularly in people's working lives. You know, there's all this stuff around now about emotional intelligence and workers needing to be emotionally intelligent. So this is going to really figure, I think, in young people's lives. And it's going to figure in the lives of students when they graduate. So I hope <laughs> my work is of, of real relevance to people. Okay, well thank you very much for that. I'm sure it is. And I'm looking forward to your talk later on this evening. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Ian. Thank you.